and welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video we are going to take a look at your person's current feelings towards you. This is a general love reading and if it resonates please hit that like button to let me know and of course if you would like to join the Cancer Moon community but you haven't yet had the opportunity to do so feel free to subscribe this reading can be good for Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising Taurian placements and to the cross watchers. Checking in on a Taurus, feel free to reverse the roles here today. Taurus, you can reverse the roles here also. If you feel that your message is not here, please check out your other placements though, as your messages may be waiting over there. You may be wondering why the background's different, Taurus. It is because I am currently on holidays with my family. I was going into this with the intention of doing collective only readings whilst I was away on holidays and if you would like to catch those readings feel free to check them out. They will be in the playlist folder underneath videos on my channel um, as there are messages or there may be messages there waiting for you okay. Um, I'm, I'm still going to go ahead with the collective love readings because I've had some people uh, request that I continue on with them so yeah going with the flow guys going with the flow with that being said happy 2024 happy new year and happy holidays Taurus let's begin your reading as you can see I've already drawn an animal spirit card we have the peacock coming through that is uh, representing your person's current energy so they're coming through as the peacock. The upward pointing triangle with a line through it does represent the element of air. Your person could be an air sign here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They don't have to be though, but for some of you that's going to be strong confirmation. For the rest of you, don't despair, honestly. This is just the energy that your person's embodying. So I am getting that they're in this current energy of uh, staying focused staying focused they're focused on you focused on the connection focused on the relationship focused on a goal that maybe involves you the goal could be trying to get your attention you know the peacock is a little bit of a head turner attention seeking so this person could be trying to get your attention gain your attention trying to get you to notice them in some way so I'm not really sure what that is just yet but we'll see as we dive deeper into your reading Mm, they, they definitely have their eye on you. I am getting with the peacock, uh, someone who is very good looking here, someone who is very beautiful, very striking. Something about their looks here are very, is very striking. Bit of a head turner, okay? Now, it, it could just be their appearances, you know, the way they dress, the way they put themselves together. There's something very immaculate about their, the way they present themselves. Okay, so for some of you, that's going to um, that's going to be strong confirmation. Mm. I don't know. I'm getting someone who wears hats. So this person may like to wear hats or something on their head. Maybe they like to wear something on their head. Uh, I'm I'm getting hats. So it could be hats, could be a headscarf. I'm not sure what that is. Let me know in the comment section below if that resonates. So for now, I'm just going to pop this there. And we're going to dive deeper into this person's current feelings towards you. So that's their current energy. So we'll see what comes through their current feelings. So spirit angels and guides, how does this person currently feel towards Taurus? What are their current feelings towards Taurus? What should Taurus know about this person's current feelings for them? Uh, by the way, guys, I have the fan and the air conditioner on. Sorry if that is a bit of a, a nuisance in the background. I'm hoping it's not too disturbing, but it's so hot up here. It's ridiculously hot and I'm dying and melting and all the things. But I'm not complaining. It's lovely. It's, it's nice to actually be on a vacation. Okay, so we've got the strength card coming through. It could be connecting to a Leo here. Oh. What did I just say? Six of Wands. What did I say, Taurus? I just said that this person's trying to get your attention. And that's the Six of Wands energy. 
All right. Mm. Okay, this person's current feelings towards Taurus. How does this person currently feel towards Taurus? Okay, I do have to say here with the strength card, um, Eight of Pentacles, I feel like this person is in their ego. Okay, I'm getting a strong ego presence surrounding this person with the strength card. Mm. All right, let's see what's coming through here. And I said that, didn't I? Look at this. I said that this person is focused right now, focused on achieving some kind of goal. And it's coming in with the Six of Wands, which is focused, super focused and dedicated to try to get your attention here. Mm. Because this person feels like you are holding back from them with the strength card. You're holding back. You're resisting the urge to succumb or you're resisting the urge here to give in. to this person's charms. Mm. This person is heavily focused on trying to pursue you. But you are resisting, you're resisting their charms. You're, res you're resisting their attempts to sweep you off your feet. Because mm. I'm seeing here with the lion that your feet are firmly planted on the ground, okay? You're not budging here. Okay, I need to understand what's going on here. Tell me more about this strength card. Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? Tell us more about the strength card. The six of wands. <laughs> wow, this is, I, I am getting someone who is trying really, really hard to get you to notice them. Um, I am also hearing from spirit that this person can't take no for an answer. Maybe that's the ego in them, okay? The, it's like this person can't understand why you are resisting them because other people just fall at this person's feet. You know, well, why is Taurus resisting me? You know, other people uh, seem to you know, fall all over me or give me what I want. But Taurus does it, isn't giving me what I want. It's like this person needs, like they need that validation. They need that attention. I, I get a feeling here that this person's still very much in their ego, very e egoic here. Uh, maybe superficial, very superficial. Look, this person may be very good looking. Um, and there may be something very striking about their looks, but it's not all about the looks for you. It's also about this person's character. Can we clarify the six of wands, the three of cups? Ah, okay. So the Three of Cups is here, which would indicate that maybe this person could be entertaining many different people. Okay, the Three of Cups would indicate, you know, third parties, friends with benefits. 
You may feel that this person is only interested in something casual. You, feel, you may feel like this person is interested only in a hookup. Or you might be feeling here, especially with the Six of Wands coming in twice, this is someone who needs a lot of recognition or a lot of attention from a lot of different people. It could be the very reason why you're resisting them. Because you might be feeling like they're giving not only you attention, but other people attention as well. So with the Strength card here, you may feel that this person isn't loyal. Okay, you, you may feel that their loyalties are divided. Mm. This person wants to catch up with you, Three of Cups, okay? They're, they're super dedicated and focused on trying to get you to meet up with them or you know, spend time with them or, or have a drink with them. I feel like they want to socialize with you here. They want to get you face to face. They want to be in your company, okay? And they're trying everything they can to ensure that happens. All right, I wanna understand what's going on with you. I'm gonna quickly take a look at your feelings. How does Taurus feel towards this person, Spirit? The Empress, wow, and this is Taurian energy. Right there, the Empress. Hmm. So when the Empress comes through, you may just by looking at this card alone Taurus you may feel that this person uh, doesn't meet your standards mm. you're saying here well Rosa I'm not giving them any attention because they don't meet my standards yeah they're, they're, they're not meeting my standards I have high standards here Okay. Well, and the Empress is beauty. She's the epitome of beauty. And look at this, they're coming in with the current energy of the peacock. And the peacock is does represent beauty. So this person finds you very beautiful. Very good looking. Mm. Okay, how do you feel towards this person? How does Taurus feel towards this person? The star. Okay, Aquarius energy. Oops. Oh, a few cards fell on the ground. Oh, well, they took themselves out. Nothing I can do about that. Two of Wands. Give me a moment as I look at these cards. The star, the two of wands. What's going on here for you, Taurus? Yeah, I feel like with the star and the two of wands, you're distancing yourself from this person or you're trying to keep them at arm's length here. Because even the man in the two of wands, he's kind of standing behind this wall Okay, and I feel like there's a distance here. Even with the star card, the star represents distance. You're being guided here by the star card to uh, keep yourself away from this person. Mm. Maybe with the star card here, you're trying to release this person because I'm seeing the woman here, she's kind of pouring the water out of these urns. And I feel like you're in this energy of releasing this person or trying to release this person because you're seeing that you're too good for them, okay? The Empress is too good for this person, the peacock. 
there could be some healing work that needs to be done here or you might be you might be in this energy of trying to heal yourself from someone who maybe doesn't treat you right or doesn't respect you here you may feel that this person doesn't value you or you may feel undervalued here I want to have a look at these two of wands why is the two of wands here I mean the two of wands does represent trying to make a decision okay and you could be trying to make a decision on whether you should let this person near you or if you should just keep them at arm's length okay that's the decision you're in this like decision you're, you're at this crossroad where you're trying to work out should I let this person come near me should I have something to do with this person should I catch up with them should I meet up with them should I give them my attention or should I just keep them well and truly far away from me I'm just going to clarify though Oh, look at this we've got the star card <laughs> the star card clarifying the two of wands how does that happen spirit how does that happen <laughs> if the star card is coming in twice you are definitely being guided here by your I want to say your angels uh, your ancestors, your spirit, your guides, you're really being guided here to make the right decision. You're guided to make the right decision. Hmm. Hmm. The fact that the star is coming in twice tells me here that you could be feeling like you are getting a lot of star treatment from this person at this time. You may be feeling like you're getting a lot of star treatment at this time, but the fact that the two of wands is here still tells me here that you're not sure. You're not sure about this person. You're not sure if this is someone that you want to be investing your energy into. Okay, all right, so that's what that is. Let's take a look at this person's intentions then. What is this person's true intentions with Taurus? What do they want with Taurus? What does this person want with Taurus? Another card took itself out. Cards taken themselves out everywhere here. Okay, Five of Swords. Okay, what is this person's intentions with Taurus? Queen of Wands. Ace of Wands. Hmm. What is this person's intentions with Taurus? Oh, Taurus. Yeah, I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it. Because the Five of Swords is here. And I did say at the start of this reading that this person could be, you know, getting attention from a lot of different people. I feel like you've already picked up on that, though. What's happened here is that this person that you're connecting to um, has had a falling out with a third party. Mm. I feel like they've had a falling out with a third party. Mm. And they're using you here as some form of distraction because this person here is still thinking about this other person, the third party. It could be that this third party walked away from them. Maybe for exactly the same things as you are picking up on Taurus. Okay, it's a very specific message, but I'm going, I'm going with it because that's obviously what's coming through here. 
When I see the Queen of Wands, you may have heard me say this many, many times, but I see the Queen of Wands as the most sexual queen in the deck. And you might be asking, why is that, Rosa? Well, if you look at this queen, she's the only queen here that has her legs apart, okay? And she's, she's fire as well, fire, passion, you know? And it's coming in next to the Ace of Wands. And this right here is like a phallic symbol. Okay, this is someone who has intentions to, you know, start something up here with you. Um, it, it's more, it, there's a lot of passion and lust and sexual desire, a lot of desire coming in here with this person. This person desires you uh, strongly. And it could be simply just desires to get you in bed, desires to sleep with you, des desires to be intimate with you, desires to get physical here with you. Don't get me wrong, this person finds you very, very attractive. Very, very attractive. This person has intentions to pursue you, but like I said, I feel like it's to distract themselves from this falling out that they've had with this other person you know but they're still thinking about the other person i feel like they don't want to think about the other person they don't want to think about what happened with the other person so they're trying to hook up with you or they're trying to meet up with you here uh, as a form of entertainment you know and the queen of wands she's very she can be very entertaining um she's quite a social queen as well so i need to clarify why is the five of swords here tell us more about the five of swords tell us more about the five of swords why is the five of swords here king of wands that's interesting king of wands i need a sip of water Yeah, I feel like this, um, the third party has put their foot down with your person. Okay, they've put their foot down with your person here. Mm. Yeah, because the King of Wands, he's kind of put his foot, I'm getting someone very strongly here who's put their foot down. Yeah. Mm, because the King of Wands is fixed fire could be you as well so take it as it resonates let's have a look at this queen of wands um four of cups yeah i i feel like yeah i'm not liking their intentions here because the four of cups would tell me that this person is only coming in to breadcrumb you Yeah, that this person doesn't have plans to invest uh, emotionally, invest a lot of emotion into, or a lot of emotion into you. Mm. Yeah, I'm not liking it. Okay, why is the Ace of Wands here? I just feel like that Four of Cups is strongly indicating a breadcrumbing energy, Ace of Cups, yeah. Okay, so you might be the new person. You might be the new person here, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. Mm. This person's definitely trying to strike up an opportunity here with you with these two Aces. Mm. They're trying to strike up an opportunity here with you. Okay, what action will this person take towards Taurus? What, what will their next actions be towards Taurus? Oh my goodness, look at that. Four of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, Four of Cups. 
What action will this person take towards Taurus? Three of Wands. Okay, what have we got here? Queen of Swords, Four of Cups, Three of Wands. Well, the Four of Cups has come out twice now. So again, with their actions, they're coming in with this breadcrumbing energy. Mm. But I, I don't see you biting. I don't see you accepting this person's offer. Mm. I feel like you're going to see straight through this person's actions. Okay, you're coming in as the Queen of Swords. So you, you're seeing straight through this person's intentions. And you're picking up that this person doesn't have good intentions. Why is this Three of Wands here? Why is this Three of Wands here, Spirit? Why is this Three of Wands here, the Magician? Yeah, this person desires to start something up here with you. But I don't like the magician with the three of wands because I am seeing the back of this person. So the magician is an energy of someone who is trying to summon up something. He's trying to bring something into physical form. But I also see the magician as the trickster and manipulative because soon after they get what they want, I see this person turning their back. So I'm not I'm not liking their energy, Taurus. I have to be honest with you. What else do I want to clarify? Let's just look at this Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? Yeah, Knight of Cups. So that's what I said. With the breadcrumbing energy, Knight of Cups to me is a very romantic person, someone who acts very romantic, loving, sweet, kind. You know, if this person didn't come towards you with this energy I don't feel like you would give them the time of day that they're thinking here that this sweet talk and this charming attitude and this romantic attitude is going to work but again with the queen of swords here you're seeing through let me just move this over so you can see you're seeing through this person's actions Mm. This person's going to try to appeal to your romantic side or to your romantic nature. I am getting strongly here, Taurus, that they're going to very much offer you an opportunity to, you know, uh, meet up with them over a, a drink. I'm seeing all these cups. So let catch it, you know, come and drink with me. Let's meet up. Let's have a drink. Let's have a toast to the new year. Let's talk over coffee if you don't want um, if you don't want to drink champagne or wine let's have a coffee or tea or whatever it is you know so I'm just seeing something over a drink here yeah all right let's Let's take a look at how you're going to respond to this situation. So Spirit Angels and Guides, how is Taurus going to respond to this person and this situation? The Emperor, wow, you are not mucking around. I actually really, mm, okay. This person's got no idea what's up ahead of them. <laughs> um, you're definitely in the driver's seat of this, okay? The Emperor has full control. Wow, King of Pentacles. Yeah, your your foot is down. It's down. Mm -mm. You're not taking any risks. You're not taking any chances. You're not taking any gambles with this person. Uh-uh. Yeah, you're looking for something... You're looking for someone who is serious to get to know you, uh, someone who is serious to, 
you know, grow with you also. You know, the King of Pentacles, he's an earth energy. This is earth energy right here. You're an earth sign. It doesn't need to happen fast. You don't, you're not asking for things to develop quickly with this person, but you'd also need to see organic growth. And you don't, you can't see yourself I, I don't, I don't, I see you very, determined to um, hold your ground or maintain your ground here. And the emperor is wearing armor underneath his attire, which tells me here that you're feeling very protective of where you place your energy. You know, you're very protective of your heart. You're very protective of your feelings. Um, I'm just going to grab one more. See, the two, I'm going to take the two of pentacles because it showed itself in the upright. Mm. You feel... You feel that this person is too, you know, inconsistent or wishy-washy with you here. And like I said, with the King of Pentacles, he, he wants commitment. He, he wants security. He wants stability. But you feel like this person um, isn't any of those things. And not only that... Um, more to the point, you feel like this person is juggling you with somebody else and you're not going to have that either. You're not going to have a bar of that either. The emperor isn't going to stand for that. I'm just going to clarify the emperor and the king of pentacles. Tell me more about the emperor and the king of pentacles. Tell me more about the emperor and the king of pentacles. Yeah, ten of swords. The Ten of Swords. Well, the Ten of Swords is, it's, you know, putting something to bed, putting something to rest, laying something to rest. I feel like you are, almost feels like you're putting the nail in the coffin here. It's final. This is final. I feel like you're making a decision that is final. Mm. Um, because I almost want to say here, Taurus, because you can see that if you invest your energy into this person, you can see that it's not going to end well for you with the Ten of Swords. And I feel like you're trying to avoid that. You know, because the King of Pentacles, he's like I said, he's not a risk taker. He's not a gambler. And the Emperor and the King of Pentacles is very experienced. So experience has taught you this. You know, your past has taught you this. Your elders, maybe you've seen other people learn. You're learning from their mistakes. Or you're learning here from your past mistakes. To not go there again. Um, I'm just going to clarify this two of pentacles. Spirit, tell me more about this two of pentacles. The death card. Yeah, I feel like I'm just going to end it there, uh, Taurus, because I feel like the cards are just repeating. You may be dealing with a Scorpio here. We've got Aries energy also, strong earth energy. Um, 
but yeah, look, you don't want anything to do with someone who is being inconsistent and wishy-washy with you. You don't want to have anything to do with this person. Okay, you're calling it a day with the death card. You're calling it, calling it over. You don't, this is an ending right here. Mm. You're not entertaining this. You won't entertain it. For some of you Taurines, you feel like this person is playing with you emotionally. Yeah. And I also see you here with the Two of Pentacles. You're trying to get a grip on your emotions as well. Okay, you're trying to manage your emotions here. The only way to manage your emotions here is to, you know, shut the door on this connection, shut the door on this person. Mm. Because with the death, the death card represents change, but you feel like this person constantly changes. With these two cards here, this is constant change. Yeah, you're like, mm, this person's too unstable for me, Rosa. They're too unstable. They're constantly changing. One minute they want me, the next minute they don't want me. One minute they're giving me attention, the next minute they're not. There's something just not right here with this person. One minute they want me, the next minute they want the third party. But you're done. This is you closing the door. So there's your reading, Taurus. I do hope that was insightful and helpful. Let me know in the comment section below how this resonated for you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.